supporters. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you my rug transformation. Um, I bought this rug used on the marketplace and it definitely had some love and some life in it, which is good. But of course, me bringing it into my new space, I wanted to get it clean and remove the stains. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY carpet cleaning formula that saves you $30 in like professional uh, Bissell cleaning formula. Um, and in my opinion, I think my formula works a lot better. <laughs> so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I'm gonna make for our little DIY carpet cleaner. This is gonna go into the Bissell Big Green. Um, it's a commercial carpet cleaner. I got it um, as a rental at my local grocery store. And the Bissell cleaners are probably about this size and they charge like $30 for it. So we're gonna DIY one. All right, so this is the lineup we're working with. We have my famous favorite shout. We have Tide, no, this isn't Tide. <laughs> we have Gain laundry detergent. Um, and then I also have the Mr. Clean Gain um, surface cleaner as well as my favorite OxyClean White Revive. My carpet that I'm cleaning is white, so therefore I would like to um, enhance the whiteness of it, hence the whitening ingredients. So I have a mixing bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And I just have like a regular spoon. <laughs> I'm going to take one scoop of OxyClean, two scoops of OxyClean White Revive, and then I'm gonna go in with my Mr. Clean multi-surface, and I'm gonna do, well, there's one spoon, two spoons. This is also a concentrated formula. And then I'm just going to go in with the shout first. Also going to do one, two, and then for my tide, let's see. I don't think I can do this one handed. Boop. And honestly, that's probably enough. So. Now that we have all of our concentrated ingredients in here, I'm just going to stir it. And now what I'm going to do is I filled up my water bottle with very hot tap water. And now I'm just going to add our concentrate into this water because um, right now this is obviously very concentrated and we want to dilute it. So we're going to dump it into our hot water and even though these chunks of oxyclean aren't fully dissolved yet once they get inside to the hot water they'll be nice and dissolved okay now that everything is added to our water bottle uh, i'm just gonna add the top to this and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna tilt it back and forth I don't, I want to create as little bubbles as possible. So this seems pretty much dissolved. Uh, we're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna prep the carpet cleaning machine. So first things first, you're gonna wanna move all of your furniture off of the rug, which I already did. And as you can see, there's like tons of dark spots. There's a big one right here. There's definitely some over here and one right here. So, and there's also another one over here. So clearly this rug has seen some life, which is good, but we want it to be clean. Like look at that high trafficked area there. So this will be our little before shot. So we have some darker stains here. I'm just gonna take our fully concentrated solution that we just made, and I'm gonna pre-treat them just to give them a little extra love and extra time to really get rid of the stains. So I'm gonna go around to 
all the dark areas. Just give them a little extra love. So I actually got this rug off of the marketplace. It's a world market rug. I got it for $60 and I have no idea what any of these stains are. But we're getting rid of them today, honeys. Okay, let's, let's get into it. That's gross. Okay, so this is the clean water tank. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and add four ounces of our concentrated cleaner that we made. And then I'm gonna fill this with very hot tap water. Okay, the carpet cleaner is ready to go. I have hot water in the tank. I vacuumed, I pre-treated. And now I'm gonna go really slow. So this will just be in fast forward. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the solution. I'm gonna do one forward pass, one backward pass with the solution. And then I'm gonna do a forward and backward pass again without spraying anything, so it's gonna uh, suck up all that dirty water. All right, so let's get into the fast forward. All right, so here's the rug. It's still wet, of course. Um, I can still see the high trafficked area here and that stain did significantly go down. Um, but of course it's still visible. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it's actually not as wet on the bottom as I thought it would be, but I think I'm still going to like lift it up and let it dry for a bit. You can see the lines from the wheels on the vacuum cleaner and I don't know if it's going to dry like that or not. Um, if it's still dry and those lines are there, one, we're going to have a problem and two, I'm going to go at it uh, this way and see if that maybe resolves anything. Boy, I am sweating. Okay, so update on the rug. I have a new strategy. So I, I did a super concentrated solution on the passes in the opposite direction that I did the first time. I let it sit and my new strategy is I'm basically just going to go over and over and over until the water in the dirty water tank comes out clean. I don't know if it ever will, but it is, it was significantly lighter the second passes um, than it was the first time. So I think that's progress. Uh, I'm gonna do one more concentrated pass over like the super stubborn stains. And then I'm gonna do a final pass through both directions with just plain water with no solution at all. So let's, let's see how that turns out. <laughs> okay, it has officially been 48 hours, I think, to let this rug dry. I actually draped it over my balcony um, so that it could get some more airflow. So now that it's dry, I'm gonna show you guys the before and afters of the stains, y'all. I'm, I'm so pumped about this. All right, this is after. I mean, you can already tell just like how much lighter it is. And what's interesting is that there are some streaks that are warmer than the others. So like here is where the big stain was that I had pre-treated and it was really, really dark if you remember. Um, I can show a uh, side by side, but this is what it looks like now. Um, it's definitely lighter, which I'm okay with, but I'm definitely going to have to like go over this again. Um, just if I really want to fully get these stains out, I feel like it's definitely more noticeable on the camera than it is in person, but I can also notice it because you know, like I'm the one that did it. <laughs> Albert, does it smell like laundry? 
And that's the best part about the formula that we made ourselves is that it literally smells like fresh laundry. And this is like a huge like scent booster to your room. So if you have like a stinky house or like your house just smells weird, honestly, you probably gotta clean your rugs. Nice and clean, you approve? Touch. Good boy. I am so excited with the way that this rug turned out. I think it came out beautifully and I got it to be whiter and brighter like my original plan, so I couldn't be happier. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss a new video from Hannah Headquarters. I put out new videos every week, so until next time, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.